For Matt Schuster, this parklet has been a pandemic lifeline. His restaurant, Canela Bistro and Wine Bar, is set to celebrate a decade in business next month. Its outdoor dining structure, taking up several parking spots on San Francisco's busy Market Street, has allowed him to bring in extra revenue and make up for lost business when indoor capacity was restricted with wine tastings, to-go drinks, and more. On some days, the parklet allowed us to have an extra 50% in business. So, you know, especially, so we're a 50-seat restaurant. When we were at, you know, 50% capacity, that's, you know, that's 25 people. So, so being able to seat another 25, 30 people outside, you know, allows us a substantial amount of, of revenue to stay, to stay open. As COVID cases continue to climb around the country and major cities like New York City are now requiring proof of vaccination for indoor dining, restaurants are once again looking to parklets to boost business and stay afloat. According to the National Restaurant Association, four states and more than a dozen major cities from Portland to Chicago and Baltimore have either extended or are pushing to extend outdoor dining programs, including parklets. The group's research shows some 84 percent of diners said restaurants should be able to continue offering outdoor dining on a permanent basis. And this spring, 90 percent of operators said they'd continue to offer expanded outdoor seating if their jurisdiction allows it after the pandemic ends. But in some neighborhoods, there's been pushback against outdoor dining programs. On New York City's Lower East Side, the group LES Dwellers is led by DM Boyd, who says she is pro-business, but the outdoor dining program in the city is not being properly regulated. Should we be giving our public lands to private, to the private sector? Not only just the private sector, but one industry will have a monopoly on our streets. The landlords and the restaurant industry, um, be it bars, clubs, lounges, whatever it is, will now control the roadbeds. So I don't know if that's the right use for our streets. If more cities and restaurants do continue to require proof of vaccination for indoor dining, parklets like these do provide another option and one that some diners may feel safer with eating outdoors given cases continue to climb around the country.